We're going to stick with the Mets here, but shift gears a bit. On September 11, 2001, Pete Alonso was just six years old and living in Tampa, Florida. But today, 20 years after the attack on America, the Mets first baseman has dedicated his off the field charities and community work to 9-11 based foundations. This past week, Alonzo joined Yankees legend Bernie Williams at the 9-11 Memorial and Museum to help acclaimed pop artist Charles Fizzino unveil an incredible commission 3D painting commemorating the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Fizzino has done professional paintings before for Alonzo following his first home run derby and all-star appearance his rookie year, which made it all the more personal for Alonzo to represent the Mets and his own foundation in recognizing the heroes, survivors, and victims of 9-11, as Alonzo tells me in our one-on-one -on -one conversation. I have such a high appreciation for his work and uh, for him, uh, me and him have a super strong connection because for my first All-Star game uh, and my first home run derby, he uh, was very generous enough to, to give me uh, one of his pieces and sign it for me. And also me and him have something in common, having uh, two of our, a couple of our pieces here in the museum. And um, I mean, it's, it's really, for him, this is really special and also for a great cause. You were six years old, a little boy in Tampa when this awful attack on America happened. Mm -hmm. You come to the Mets and you just have dedicated so much of your time to different foundations and funds and events and the museum. Where, where's the connection? Why have you done all this? So I, um, yeah, I was really young, but I don't remember, I, I don't forget the, the fear that my parents had. That's something that I, I'll never forget. And Tampa, I think it has one of the largest Air Force bases on the East Coast, McDale Air Force Base. So um, I think what what the unknown was is like, okay, so they're attacking certain government stuff or the, are they now going to start attacking military targets? So Tampa, like big military base, okay, is this, no one really knew what was happening. So could this be a target? And um, there's just a lot of unknown and everyone, everyone from that day is scared. And for me as a super young kid to be able to pick up on that for my parents, I mean, it's, I'll, I'll never forget that. When, when you came to the Mets, what, did you start thinking about, yeah, I'm going to the city where, you know, one of the attacks happened, where the big attack happened here, right here at Ground Zero. What were your thoughts about what was about to present to you in your life? Well, I, I didn't know at first, to, to be honest with you, but to kind of see the, the amount of history. There, I love New York. It's uh, I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a New Yorker and deep down in my heart. I've embraced this city because the people here, not just Mets fans, but New York in general has has embraced me as a not just as a player but as a person I want to be able to give back and also seeing all the tremendous works meeting uh, the heroes and people that acted um, on that day and then forward I mean people are still being impacted today from 9-11 uh, related diseases from the cleanup from ground zero or search and rescue teams or sanitation there's so many people it's not just on that day that were impacted it's uh, the the long-lasting effects from it and the people that have sacrificed so much uh, have inspired inspired my fiance and I to start our own foundation to to, uh, to help others in in the community so we're just really blessed to be able to meet these excellent human beings who have gone above and beyond and who are heroes for us you will be playing the Yankees on 9-11 this is a big game because it will specifically commemorate the 20 year anniversary how will you control your emotions on that Day. Yes, the baseball means a lot, but for the city to come together and, and be united under uh, under under a game, I think it's really special. Lopez wants it away, and it's hit deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. Home run, Mike Piazza, and the Mets lead three to two. Do you ever talk to Mike Piazza about that home run, or John Franco about being a Staten Islander and going through what they went through? Yeah, um, yeah, I've been really fortunate to talk to Mike and. Uh, for him, he's just like I was. Just I didn't know what the home run would mean to people because he's just he's just going up there trying to trying to win a baseball game, just trying to do his job. And um, but for for him to hit that home run in that moment in time, I mean, I just think he's he's the right guy in the right spot. And I mean, there's a reason why that home run is so legendary. It's just kind of like a like that first exhale, and people people really kind of gravitated toward it, and it, it kind of became something after. And to be able for him, it's it's really special.
As I mentioned earlier, Yankees legend Bernie Williams joined Alonzo at the Charles Fazino 9-11 painting unveiling. And next Sunday, here on Sports Extra, you'll hear Bernie's account of the days and weeks after 9-11 and what he and the Yankees experienced 20 years ago on the field and in the community. Next on